What's up? It's your friendly neighborhood puppy chaser. I've got a good one for you guys today. My roommate has a little beagle mix and I caught my horse and her dog's first meeting. And this is some really good body language that I want to talk to you guys about today. So let's get started. The castle is very interested in Daisy. You can watch him going over, sniffing, checking her out. I'm watching his body language. His ears are forward, he's alert, but he doesn't seem on the offense. He's not being very aggressive. He's just curious. Well, Daisy is keeping her distance. She is not too thrilled. You can see every time the horse gets close to Daisy, she runs away. She doesn't like him in her space. She's pretty uncomfortable with him right now. When she feels insecure, she runs back to mom because that is her comfort zone. Again, Castle approaches her, he gets too close, and she tells him to back off. Now Castle takes it in stride, and he goes, okay, all right. body language here where he's following her with his ears. You see his ears go back. That doesn't mean he's angry. That means, you know, she went behind him, so his ears turned to hear where she was. You'll also notice that he comes to me after several attempts of trying to initiate contact with the dog. He actually comes to me to see if everything's okay. He's a little confused, so he's coming to me to look for direction. There is so much communication in such a short period of time, it happens really fast, where the horse steps in, the dog is giving him all sorts of signals before she tells him, hey, I said no, you need to back off right now. Look at this dog's body language. As soon as the horse comes in, she stops wagging her tail, it's tucked, she's stiff, her neck is high, She's got what we call whale eye. He backs off just a tad. Her tail wags slightly, she turns to her owner, and then all of a sudden, he's right back in her face, and her split-second reaction is, I told you to get out of my space, leave me alone. Watch where Castle is reaching, reaching. She's stiff. He moves slightly, watch that leg, then he steps in and his face is right there at her face when she turns to look at him, and she says, absolutely not, I'm not okay with this. Was she being mean? No, she was telling him, hey, that's too close, I'm uncomfortable with this. She's wagging when she is farther away from the horse. The other thing I paid attention to with my horse, and this is very vindicative of horse herd behavior and hierarchy, that dog just pushed my horse. So what did he do? He came and he pushed me. I corrected him and said, no, you're still lower than I am. So we had to reestablish where he was in the herd. And Daisy is totally fine. She's very relaxed when she is far, far enough away from the horse to feel comfortable. And you can see this in her body language. Her tail is very relaxed. She wags when she sees me. She never once raises her hackles. She's fairly comfortable as long as the horse stays out of her zone. And you can see as soon as he goes in there, she leaves. So all of this is very natural, very good behavior. I see a lot of people wanting to break this up when they see it. They need to learn how to communicate with each other. They have different ways of reading body language, and so right now they're feeling each other out. And for a first meeting, this was great. This is all stuff that I want to see. The horse learned that, hey, when I get close to this dog, she gets uncomfortable and I need to back off. And he doesn't keep going after her. He actually, at this point, walks away and goes and starts eating hay elsewhere. Daisy, she, she did great. She told the horse she was uncomfortable and she moved. 
but she never acted incredibly fearful. She wasn't aggressive. All she was doing was telling him, hey, you, you're too close, and I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with this. I'm not okay with that. You need to stay out of my space. So all in all, very good behavior, completely natural. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. This is ACO Twiggy calling 1042. Until next time.